The story of the little mole who knew it was none of his business. Right? The story of the little mole who knew it was none of his business. Werner Holsworth, Wolf Elberg. Elberg. Right. Did you do this on my head? He asked the dove who was flying past. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, she answered. <laughs> and splish, splish, a moist white blob on the ground. Right next to the little mole, his right leg was splashed with white. Did you do this on my head? He asked the horse, who was grazing in the pasture. Me? No, how could I? <laughs> found them almost appealing. <laughs> Did you do this in my head? He asked the cow who was chewing the cud. Me? No, I could. How could I? I do it like this. And kaplush! A big brownish green pancake flopped into the grass next to the mole. He was very relieved that it hadn't been the cow <laughs> who had done something on his head. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Did you do this in my head? He asked the pig. Me, no. How could I? I do it like this, replied the pig. And plop splat, a little soft brownish pile fell on the grass. The mole held his nose. <laughs> Did you do this in my... He was going to ask again, but as he came closer, he saw only two big fat black flies. And they were eating. At last, someone who will be able to help me, thought the mole. Who did this in my head, he asked excitedly. Keep nice and still, buzzed the flies. There was a short pause, and then it is clear to us that it was a dog. Quick as a flat. Oops. Finally, the little mole knew who had done the business on his head. Basil, the butcher's dog. 
You're not even looking at her. Look. Quick as a flash, she climbed onto the basil's kennel. And pling! A tiny black sausage landed right on top of the dog's head. Satisfied at last, the little mole disappeared happily into his mole underground. Oh, and that's the end.